Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Video a day, shave a day, sometimes two shaves a day. If I could have three, I would have three or four, you know, it's just the way it is. I really enjoy it. Ladder Bros Winwood. Now this is my favourite scent out of Ladder Bros over, I believe they're from Florida, Andre and Steph over there. Fantastic soap makers, beautiful soaps, great performance, great scents. The scent on this is brilliant, a really nice gourmand sweet but it actually works i think it would work as a cologne as well the use of fennel is just incredible it's a bit like i suppose fennel is a bit like coriander or cilantro as you call it in the states you either love it or you hate it you're not an in between it is a licorice type scent but it works really well with sandalwood and pineapple now the ingredients list is on the back right there if you want to have a little look made in the usa 2018 so this is actually two years old this soap now you would never know it when you use it. I just used it for a head shave and it was absolutely out of this world. The brush is soaking here. It's my 24 millimeter Carnivus and Richardson Katie's Bubbles collaboration brush. And it has a 24 millimeter the golden nib knot in there. Now I'm just gonna show you this knot because it's outstanding. So that is it, absolutely soaking wet. I'm just gonna give it a quick shake. I'll probably load it about there. Look at that. Is that not just absolutely beautiful? I mean, look at this. was a gift from Ivy Chapel or Alexander Kaplan or Alex Kaplan, the paramedic from New York. Top, top bloke. He's doing okay. And given how bad New York was hitting, hit with the pandemic or the coronavirus as it is. Right, I'm going to pour out the blue water, soaking water, whatever you want to call it, for this soap. It essentially is a bloom water because I love the scent and it really does bloom the scent. It brings that scent right out, fills the bathroom. Right, now, just so you are aware, I do have the Secret Artisan Pre-Shave Oil on. I am using the Feather Artist Club again. Here we go, let's get in here and get it loaded. I'm just going to use this pre-shave oil every shave at the moment. I want to see how my skin deals and whether my skin is better as a result of it. Because really, at the moment, I'm very much on the fence with this pre-shave oil. I don't, it just feels too hydrophobic for me. It just, I don't know. In my head, it doesn't work right when you put a soap on or water on your face. Right, that is the brush loaded. Doesn't look like much, but I can assure you, it should be absolutely fine for what I'm looking for today. Just scoop the excess out. Just rinsing the soap out in the sink. Water. I try not to use too much water. Water's pretty expensive over here in Western Australia to actually to use a lot of. And when you've got three kids in the house, you use enough water to like quench the thirst of a small village, you know, it's just incredible the amount of water that we go through in this house. I'm probably the biggest user really. Shaving every day. <laughs> Scent strength out of the tub, it's a good four or five, maybe a, probably a five out of ten. Once you lather it up and get it on your face, it's just there the whole time. And because there's a little bit happening in it, you can smell it during the whole shave. It's a very creamy, smooth, relaxing scent. Such a nice knot. There's, there's like no real feeling from it. You can sort of feel a very mild scrub. But 
it's not really enough to I would be very surprised if I ever got brush burn from this this brush, that's for sure. getting a very small sort of cooling from this. I'm just gonna check the ingredients in a second. I'm not sure there's not definitely no menthol on this, I'm sure there's not. than I normally have it. It's not a little bit thicker than that for the DE razor, but because I am using it for the Artist Club once again, with this sort of never-ending blade that's in here, I want that little bit of slickness. So here we go. What I'm going to do today is concentrate on just doing single strokes rather than going over the same area over and over again and see if I get the same result. I've been getting not irritation but like a just a mild burn on my skin. And if I'm honest, I think it's because I'm going over the same bits with no soap or anything and just irritate my skin for no reason so let's try this. The old Dave card method. He does does his right side of his face, and then does the left bottom left hand side. Then he does his left side of his face, and then does the bottom right hand side. Works quite well. And then he switches over again. Oh, 
Right, first pass done. That felt really nice. I don't think I've got really much irritation. Now, I was going to try, I think Dave does his sort of cross the green pass, a bit like that, I think. I'm not quite there yet. I'm, I'm still watching, I'm still trying to absorb his techniques a little bit so I can give them a go. Silt, soap's fantastic, it's really slick. It's very protective as well. I feel like I've got a good cushion on there when I'm using it. There we go, the second ladder, look at that. Oh yeah, it feels great on the skin, this brush. Now you don't need a ladder like that for a second pass, but well, just because it's there, I just use it. God, it's so slick I can't even grab my skin. A bit. Your little weepers there. I actually felt it. I'm getting, starting to get used to stretching a bit. I'm not brilliant at it yet, but I'm getting better. Good little bunch of weepers there. Eh? Crackers. Right, third pass, here we come. So that's really, I've got a little weeper there as well, but that's okay. Right about this part of my face, I'm all right. If I get weepers and things like that, they heal up real fast and I don't even notice they're there anymore after, right after the shape, maybe about five, 10 minutes after. So when I get them on my neck, weepers on my neck, they, they do really show up quite some time. I do find that AP Reserve Essentials does really help with that. There's such a sweetness is great on this. Certainly got a bit of, you've got a bit of confidence that if you are just putting the razor directly on your skin, it's going to give you 
plenty of slipness and protection. So very, very easy salt to work with. Certainly highly recommend it for beginners and people trying to learn how to line it because it's just easy. There's no pressure with it, it just works. Try my hands. Certainly feels very nice today, this the razor. Just slice it myself there, yeah, I think I did. Okay, oh, I don't know whether it actually went into the skin or just stopped and I sort of felt it instantly. I think I might have just saved myself, but likely not. Right, let's just continue. I'm just gonna Pretty damn good, I tell you. One of the best I've had, actually. I tried to reduce the amount of strokes. Where I had the weepers, there and there, I've got a little bit of sting from the soap, just in the water. But everywhere else feels better than it did yesterday. And really, I'm pretty happy with that. No blood down here. It looks really nice down here, actually. Now, I can't, at the moment, I can't say it's just the pre shave oil, but the pre shave oil does appear to be helping, especially in trouble spots. I don't seem to be weeping as much on my neck in the last two shaves. Now, of course, that's going to come down to a little bit of technique progress and things like that. Now I've washed that soap off and it's still slick. 
post shave, in, the immediate post shave is excellent. It is really good. But I love the scent. I've got one weeper down there on the left. I'm not too worried about that. I think overall that was one of the better Chevette shaves that I've had. Other than this little trio of weepers here. Good. Now I will say the blade is not quite what it was when it was new and probably the first seven or eight shades. It is starting to feel a little bit rough against the grain. I'm really starting to, to feel that blade. Look at that. That's it flicked out as hard as I can flick it. And it's not a bad thing. It's just I need to sort of adjust it a little bit. I don't want to keep going against the grain with a blade that's not slicing through the hair cleanly. That's how you end up with ingrown hairs and irritation and all sorts. So it's just getting to that point where I'm feeling it. Whereas before... Oh god, there's still a lot of soap left in this knot. Before there was a lot of... It was just slicing through, you know, there was no... I was getting some weepers and things, but... I wasn't getting really any irritation. It was just cutting too close to the blood, as your arm would say. I'm going to shave them, did you? Okay, that's pretty damn good. I've got one weeper down the bottom right, one in the bottom left. And that's the only ones I can see now, apart from these little ones here that are still ever so slightly weeping. Right, that's the soap's all out now. Definitely. Very, very sort of unique knot from the golden nib. Right, I'm just going to finish off now with some private, eh, private, some private, some Australian private reserve essentials restoration. It's just good stuff. Now, I do have the balm to go with this soap, but I don't like to overload my skin with product. I used it on my head this morning and it was brilliant. It's got a lovely cooling sensation to it and it is very, very hydrating. It absorbs quickly and it does leave your skin feeling lovely. If anything, maybe just a little bit sort of oily, but that's mainly because I put too much on, if I'm honest, rather than the, the moisturising balm being oily. Ladder Bros Winwood, made by Andre and Steph over in Florida. Awesome people, Man United supporter. Just a great guy and he's sent me a few things over the years and I'm forever grateful for it and I really enjoy using them and I've found this one to be one of my, if it's definitely a top five scent for me in the den. The brush was the Carnivus and Richardson solid billet aluminium with a 24mm the golden nib knot on it and you can see how twisted these fibres are. So curly and it is so soft. There's no backbone, there's no scrub really, there's no, definitely no scratch or scratch from it. It's almost, you don't really feel it on your skin at all, if I'm honest. The razor was the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel Chevette, the folding version, which is absolutely beautiful. It's very easy and comfortable to use. I am watching a lot of people with Chevettes now and I'm seeing a lot of really nice Chevettes that in other people's opinions do better than this and that's quite hard to believe because this is the first one I've used that I've actually really enjoyed, but it could be the blade. Finished off today with Australian Private Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. Oh yes, and I did start off the shave with some of the Secret Artisan Pre-Shave Oil. I've used it two face shaves in a row now, yesterday and today. And to be fair, given that I'm doing daily shaves and that's a chevet and I'm still not very good with it, I think my skin looks pretty darn good for what it is. It's not as close a shave as a DE razor at the moment. I'm getting better every time. But in terms of irritation and, and tightness and things like that, this is far superior to yesterday's shave overall at the end. And reducing the strokes and things has really helped me. So if you are learning Chevette or straight razor, try reducing the amount of strokes you do with no lather on your face. Just try and do clean one stroke, one stroke, one stroke, all the way over. Reapply the lather and then one stroke all the way over. As best you can. You do forget and sometimes you just do a couple of little hooks and a little scrapes and things like I do. And I think that's, if you do too much of that, that's what causes you the problem, it gives you the irritation. So try and stick to clean, smooth, long strokes 
always keep the blade moving and I think you'll do quite well. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.